We are working with the Rugby League All-Stars to help support and raise awareness for some of the heroes who play our game. To be a part of it, visit rugbyam.co.uk forward slash All-Star events. Welcome back to Rugby AM with myself, Jamie Jones Buchanan, right here on Free Sports in my isolation chamber, week number two. Now, I hope you're all well striving, persevering and surviving. I'm right there with you. Now, we want to continue bringing you some Rugby League content. And I said last week that we wanted to broadcast some unused footage, some content that we've had on the server for a few months now. And we're going to go back to the end of 2019 when I had one of the most privileged moments of my career to have my second stint with the England Knights thanks to the grace of the coach Paul Anderson. Now it's important to understand that the England Knights is like the Silk Road, the conduit, the bridge between England Academy and full international honours. And this time in the Jamaica project, we played against the Reggae Boys for the first time in both nations history at the Emerald Enley Stadium in Leeds. Now, not only that, we had a real privilege the night before with our shirt presentation when a player who many would say is the greatest player that's ever played the game came and handed out those shirts to the boys on the eve of their international matchup. So if you want to get an insight into what it's like, to get presented your national shirt from one of the best players ever to play the game, Ellie Realmley. Have a look at this. Today, practice, we uh, will go out. Uh, Scully and uh, Adam will talk a little bit about game day one, but all right, it's not going to be anything that's so complicated, it's going to be ridiculous, okay? I think you'll go out, you'll do some waves, you'll do some activation type stuff, uh, you'll split, outside back, kick, catch, forwards, a bit of rolling type stuff. All right, come together, hit some shields and get in. Sweet. So you do the first bit, the second bit's just, you've got to go over there and kick some balls, you've got to knock 10 bells out of each other. All good? Got me? Off back of all that, what are we doing in our yardage? Tell me. Sam, what's our plans in yardage? Are we going to target anybody? Just depending on who their team is. If Mikolai, which he's never been right, if he is right, all right, says Golden's playing at nine, he's eight for us. He's probably going to have to play eight to. Do you agree? Yeah, so if that's not the case, then we just pick somebody else. Peltiers and all these big fellas. We win this game through transitions and be physical off the back of it. Got me? That mentality starts today. Starts today, starts from now. Today, now, and what we do today will have an impact on what tomorrow mentalities are. Do you agree? Yeah? Let's get your books on and get out there, eh? We'll be 30 minutes out there maximum, eh? Boys, listen up. With the ball, perfect, Danny. Yeah, perfect. Just my thing in D is they don't go through us. This score is going to be off match. Yeah. All yeah. right. Up, square, hold your f***ing nerve. I mean, I turned out that one, but not acceptable. Just make sure we're solid through there. All right. I reckon we just put it on, put it on us, each other, boys. No inside shoulders. Yeah. Just a big f***ing emphasis on wherever you are on the pitch. No inside shoulders, and then the only time they'll go is round us, isn't it? Quick that though, good yeah, yeah. very crisp, nice boys, good energy. Yeah. Just alright, you understand why I got the on that one, the big four one, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. we can't afford that. You're going to see this opportunity, you're going to see lots and lots and lots of it. Please, the game, the game offensively is a simple game. It's about getting this, or that, a good skill, to where they're not. Yeah, and if we can take big fours on four on fours, five on fours, we fall back sweeping around, get one on ones, that's the win. If that's the worst case that happens, then we're happy with that. So the, the overcall boss. boss. The call boss, that's it. That's yeah, it. boss. Yeah. 
I'm sure I'm pretty confident our nines if you're screaming loud enough for the ball with some in anger you'll get it. Yeah. And if it's on, no matter where you are on the pitch, just go call it. If you're back row centres, if you can see something, call it. Boys, you got a yardage scrum set that starting team and you got a yardage scrum uh, with the ball 20 metres out going long side. Alright Sam, there's your ball Sam. I like that, eh? Yeah, good that. Danny, once you've done that, mate, you and Harry can get some goal kicking for five. Hey, uh, you got to get a squirt if you want to squirt. Hey, boys, just, just for me, all right? I thought that in regards to our connectivity and, and talk and things was great. Do you agree? Yeah. yeah. All right. But let's just not forget going into tomorrow what game about rugby league is about. It's about putting a physical imprint on the team above you first. Yeah? Especially at this level. It's not about the big UB fancy players, they'll come. Sweet? Yep. They'll come. It's about us putting a fing imprint on them to start this game. Alright, so I'm putting my mark on you blocks who are starting up. Alright? Then I'm gonna put my mark on you boys who are coming off the bench to take that fing even further. Yeah? Our fing mentality is that kick, compete, and fing hunt. If that's all we've got to think about, which fing puts us at that end of the field, not coming off down our end. Sweet? Yeah. yeah. That's gonna be our mentality. All good? Yeah. yeah. Get a touch, boys. Well done, well done. Get a touch, eh? Get a touch. <laughs> Can I have a few kicks, Harry? That's all right. Do a little kick. Right. <laughs> Stay like just like this. First thing first, Danny, it was six o'clock for a feed to start with. All right, white polo, end of this year was a song. Not good enough. Sweet? Got me? Yeah. Sweet. Right, first thing, all right. Believe it or not, I don't get nervous very much in my life, but I'm very nervous at the minute. Purely because there's, a, there's an absolute legend of rugby league in this room. All right. Uh, <sighs> compose myself here. Ellery, Ellery Hanley, MBE. All right, he's here, giving his time to come and do a shirt presentation. Yeah. As you can see, for all looking at Ellery, come on, pal, come on. Oh, fuck okay. As you can see, Ellery's uh, a bit of strife at the minute. He's uh, had surgery on Thursday on an elbow from squash, racquetball, all that type of stuff. So, fortunately, he's got to the stage he's in life with, I still got his knees intact and stuff like that, so he can play all that stuff. So. All right. Now, Ellery, we just talk outside, don't we? And yeah. If I was to go through Ellery's, Ellery's list of his accomplishments as a player, seriously, the game wouldn't be kicking off. But key things for me, three-time Man of Steel, yeah? 85, 87, 89, 88 Golden Boot, best player in the world. All right, I think it was, this is Wikipedia, so please tell me if it's wrong. I it was 400 know. career tries. I couldn't tell you for you sure. You do know. I don't, honestly. <laughs> yeah, so that tells you everything. Legend of Bradford Northern as the time balls, Wigan, Leeds, two spells in Australia, grand finals over there as well. So it's, where well, I'm, like you said, I think you can tell I'm a bit nervous here. But one of the things for Ellery more than anything that I can remember, we, how old were you when you came to Leeds? 30? Probably 30, around that age, yeah. So Ellery, Leeds at the time paid 250k for if we're being honest, we did that now for a 30 year old, it's gotta be something special. Yeah? And the man was. But one of the things that happened earlier there for me is that one of the things you did is, I think you did a bit of a knock at some point there, and I think you went to the coach and said, right, who are these young fellas? Can I take with me to start training that have actually got a bit of something about them? And fortunately for me, I was one of them. I used to go to Carnegie up here and uh, go training around the track and all that type mm. of stuff then look after us and take us for feeds and stuff like that. And I'll never thank you for that, mate, so thank you very much. It's a pleasure. It was a, it was a thing for me that I'll never forget, and all this time after, it still stands with me. So, thank Good you. Man. Thank you. All right. So let's crack on, eh? First up, uh, our captain, Sam Powell. It's a pleasure, Sam. Make sure that you by example with the captain. Yeah. Keep your discipline about you yeah. at all times. Thank you. Okay. Cheers, pal. Thank you, okay, champ. Yeah. Number one, Niall Ewald. 
Niall, it's great to meet you, champion. You've had a wonderful season. Absolutely brilliant. You've been all season. Control the rook. Make sure that message is passed on to everybody. Okay. Number 17, Jack Ashworth. Hi, Jack. You're all right. Make sure that nobody stops talking on the football pad yeah. and that everybody's ready to play the ball and everybody's in the sprint position ready to attack with the defence. Yeah, okay. All good. That's everybody. Uh, just before, thank you, Ellery. Yeah. Thank you very much for uh, giving you time. Well, every single one of you had a message from me and it's doing those basics well for longer periods than the opposition, understanding about talking at all times. Everything's not going to go right for you on the day you've got an opposition to play against and they will obviously try to do the same things as what you're trying to do, but make sure that your desire and your commitment is bigger than theirs. Good luck, boys. Okay. Thank you. Brilliant. Honestly, all class. Thank you. Brilliant. Hi, Paul. Hey, you right. You? you okay? All good, eh? Very well, you. Good man, yeah. Good man. Cheers, man. All right. Thank you. Hey, it's a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. So, we've got four captains. They can come and stand at the front. Take it in turns, picking, go first, go second, go third, go fourth. Pick your teams, find a space, we'll run through the quiz. Losing teams got a forfeit decided by the other groups. Rock off. Go on, Jack. Sam. Doing Jack's team. Okay, next round, fellas. A couple of videos coming up. Oh my god. Could decide whether the winner is Blue or Scully. Could you not find a picture of me? I couldn't have made, sorry. <laughs> There's one with your shirt off, but they didn't have enough space. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> What's uh, scores and draws? What we got? Ten. Five, five. Ten. Four, you lose a point. Four. We had six. We took eight. Eight. They had six. No, you did. You had five, five, and then you took one off. And Toby, you sh. You're off. So, four. Seven. Eight. Oh, that's plus the bonus point. Seven. Nine. Seven. Twelve and a half. Boys. Oh, no, oh, boys. 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 Move your body closer. 
Ja, 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 I thought love was only true in fairy tales And for someone else, but not for me Love was out to get me That's the way it seems Disappointment haunted all my dreams Then I saw her face Try it, lad. <laughs>spend our playing careers preparing for and on the international stage it's where you want to be at the absolute best version of yourself you get to kick off the more contemplation starts nervous energy anxiety excitement doubt all starts to creep in retired I've been being a player for the last 22 years sitting for the first time outside that playing bubble I didn't realize how in tune to an almost zombification like state these players become separating themselves from the outside world and preparing their body and mind for all out war
Sam? Beautiful. What are we doing up in the up top end of the field? What are we going to do? Find that outside post and play, eh? Make sure you don't want to miss any big fours and big threes and stuff like that. Take your opportunities. The key is more than anything is your job with the ball is to run over the block in front of you. That's how you get yourself into this game. Got me? International football. Be patient, be f***ing honest and be tough and be ruthless and relentless in that stuff. Yeah, off well, back of that, you celebrate. It's something I always say, I want you to celebrate all small victories. Rep football, be f***ing brutal in what you do, be f***ing honest in what you do, and be f***ing relentless with it. So, hey, yeah. get yourself ready. Let's get yourself ready to go, eh? I don't need to motivate you. I don't need to give you some f***ing rounding speech that's going to be amazing. Because everyone is there and everyone knows what they need to do and everyone knows why they're doing it. Go out there and f***ing deliver. And then when we come back in here after, we're going to f***ing have a good f***ing dance, we're going to have a good f***ing evening, and we're going to go out and we're going to enjoy what we've done. Because we can come back off the pitch with our heads up, going, we did f***ing everything today. you got a minute or so, and then we're out, boys. <laughs>
enjoy this one. Long time in coming. Come on. Kenton, enjoy. That's the key to this. Good, it's been a long time, brother. Let's go. He's wanted for the team at this. By the end of the One, two, three. We are working with the Rugby League All-Stars to help support and raise awareness for some of the heroes who play our game. To be a part of it, visit rugbyam.co.uk forward slash All-Star events. We are working with the Rugby League All-Stars to help support and raise awareness for some of the heroes who play our game. To be a part of it, visit rugbyam.co.uk forward slash All-Star events. mentioned nervous times there's a lot of young players in uh, this England lineup in particular Morgan Smithies of course play Quick play the ball's killing it's going to open out to the right hand side now here's Richardson linking with Evolds Evolds oh it's out amongst the back line here's Minikin Minikin for the corner first try comes three and a half minutes in great link up play down that right hand side Exactly the stuff. Keep with Ashton Gold and keep at him. Yeah, keep going. Exactly what we're doing. Just keep going. Six hours. Keep counting. Yeah. Yeah. Energy gel. Go on, on, boys. Sam, come right. on. <coughs> Outstanding, boys. Let's just keep doing what we're doing. Keep fighting for that quick play of the ball. Keep jumping back. Awesome work on that first kick on Goulding as well. Keep counting it, as we spoke about, and driving the yeah. back. Yeah. All right. I think there could be plenty of this. Walk into here. I think Mason get Mason doesn't need to go in there, is it? What's Mason? It's Partington does the run around with Powell. Now he's out amongst the bat line once more. Evolves across the Minikin. Minikin for the corner. Second try of the game. It goes the way of Greg Minikin, as did the first. And it comes in the 17th minute. Great bat line play again. Scully, just getting all our edges, okay, defensively. I want to see more urgency getting onside. With the ball, I want to see more patience, okay, more patience with the ball. Think about best case scenario of our set is we get to our kick, then hunt off the back of it. Yeah, got you, mate. Again, Paul. Top Paul. See the pads in front of you there. Down the right hand side, it's moved again. They've looked dangerous every time it's come this way, and it's gone down to Minikin. Minikin, Minikin again. It's a hat trick for Greg Minikin. And wow, he's warming up ahead of this move for Hull Kingston Rovers in style, isn't it? That rock play the ball is too quick, isn't it? Huh? Play the ball around the rock is too quick. As soon as they get within our 10, we're getting left with a man on the floor every time. Tell our 8, 10, 13, mate, they've got one more set in offence, one more set in defence, OK? Then we'll uh, make some changes. Just time to keep going, think complete to compete. English straightens up. Good run from English. Keeps himself low. Drives to the line. Spinning. He's held up though. That's the one tackle. 
Through hands to Evolds. Now it's out to Lynham. Lynham for the corner. Acrobatic finish, but it's a forward pass. Just United put, again. Just sitting a bit too much on the edges, out there. Yeah, I mean, shoot, they're too tight. Yeah. It does not get any pressure. There's no pressure on his legs. They're tight and going hard. They can't get, can't get to that pin at all. No. This is three men out there, and another two men missed out there. Newman links it with Lynham. Lynham for the corner. No one's denying that one. Great movement down the left hand side. But it's another short side play on. Lovely link up. King back in field. Here's Lehman. Lehman's got some at both sides. Goes out to King. King to finish. Five metres in from touch. Five metres away from the line. He scurries over. Well, that's all down to short side plays. How direct Danny Richards playing. Yeah. He's getting the ball. See the tempo. It's not everything. That's the young thing when you ask when they get it. They want to do everything quick. Golding's back there to collect, looks up, sees two or three England shirts chasing well, and that is half time. Effort. Nice ET, nice pass. Nice boys, nice Bruno. Nice shot. Good. Good boys, keep your heads up. Like the tap start was a prime example. We're all just wandering around like this when we should be all right, let's get there. I would much sooner you get there quick resting position. Alright? Just only just a bit more timing, that's all. Depth on your plays and you'll, you'll start getting more fucking joy on this play. Does that make sense? Alright? Challenge our middle. Right. Challenge our middle. And good ball. Get deeper for you. Yeah. Alright? So even that big two passes just killing them, isn't it? Yeah. But even so then, I don't want to see people coming on hook plays going to do this because they're all stood flat. Yeah. That's not a problem, mate. Right? Get, keep getting that. Just get them kind of play, yeah, well that's the thing is you see I would just kept that roll rolling. Yeah. The first couple of sets they were freezing, freezing, then it yeah, went to twos, yeah. then it went to ones. So you just kept rolling it, eh? Oh good. Yeah. I'm just saying there's been more timing on that left edge around. Let's keep, let's keep her in the right to shift. Yeah. All right, yeah. flat and fast, two and three. All right. Yeah. Fellas, just have your eyes. I've got a question for you. Question. You've gone all right there, you, you agree? Yeah. So I'm going to ask you now, what do you want from the next 40 minutes? What do you want from the next 40? Yeah, all good. Now, all that time, do, you, do we want to really put this team to the sword now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how do you think we need to go about that? Yeah, Beautiful. Do we think we sorry Greg? Do you think we just need to be all the time at the minute you're seeing opportunity, 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 break, offload, break, offload. I just think at the minute we just need to go drain that in a little bit, alright, and know that they can't go with you. So when you do make that break, alright, let's not get carried away thinking, I've got to score, I've got to score, I've got to score. We'll get that, nice and calm, we'll get them next play. Let's make sure we get our high completions. It's a defensively thing for me. All right, a couple of times, their backfield, they're, what's their threat? One, two and five, I think. You agree? So there's a couple of times there when what's happened is they've got the ball, they've run, they've gone skip, 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 skip. Go forward against that type, skipping type play. And guess what? If there's no shape and nobody pushing into a hole, if he runs into our area, just go him. Get forward, inside shoulder, whack, good night, God bless. All good? Yeah, just from, from, an, from an attacking point of view, try space. So Chev spoke to your middles about when you're coming back, that's fine. Come back, take your breather when you get behind the ball. But at the moment, we're in that f***ing tram line in the middle, in the middle of the field. Because our backs are coming in, we're not holding any shape, so they can just f***ing compress in. They're getting three or four men in the tackle. All right, so just pull off a little bit, start taking your buddy with you, you outside backs, they're coming in hard, take your buddies with you. We're starting from a fresh year, we start from a clean set, half time, zero, zero, go back out, make the game f***ing even, get our f***ing eight sets back, and then see what they've got to offer. Yeah. Alright, so get some energy up, be up and ready. going to make a tackle at the back there, you're going to make a tackle at the back here. 
I'm not the marvelous. Many of them good there. Many of them better. All right, let's get Sir Richard go. Hey, nobody gets us here. We throw on, we go for it. Hey. But if this thing is over, forget what I'm past in yardage because they're not doing anything. As soon as you pick it out and run to get people turning inside, so I reckon if you get a chance, just call the fusion all the time. Yeah, yeah. Just call it. Yeah. Call it. That means you've got people rolling for you as well. Yeah, yeah. Does yeah. that make sense? Yeah. yeah. All right. It's nice and simple again, mate. Right? Flat fast. Jump, jump, jump in there on the floor. Take everybody with you. Sorry, mate. Sorry, Paul. Walk straight into you then. <laughs> Let's just challenge ourselves with mixing it up, get them razors and all that yeah, type yeah, of stuff. That's, 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 that's yeah, that's well. just get that Danny's, especially from yeah. if we get that post outside that post and you go in that short side. Yeah. Just, I think we've missed a lot of especially on our right. Yeah. But just think about just get uh, our left, sorry, our left, sorry, going that way. Yeah, yeah. We took that short side, we've had him, but we've yeah, I didn't want to talk about that because I didn't want us to get carried away with yeah, it, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, all, right. yeah. all good talk, boys. Yeah. Good, good decisions on D as well, man. Yeah, yeah, good to go, boys. Whenever you're ready. for Newcastle Thunder and a pretty good season as well as Brown here's Thomas tricky little kick well taken by Lehman and Lehman's forced behind his own line that's a great bit of constructive play from Jamaica good day, yeah. nice game it's nice game DT drop out St. Long as far as Peltier who takes it behind halfway Picks his spot, gains 12 metres. He's gained a few more now. That's a great run from Peltier. And that'll really buy on this uh, this Jamaican side. Yes, Ross! Yes, Ross! Mason Caton Brown fancies a run from dummy half. Burrows his way forward, but can't quite reach the line. Or has he got there? He has got there. Oh, he's gone. He's managed to smuggle his way through and touch down while I thought he was held. convert from out wide gives it chances flags are raised and tell you what we've seen a great level of goal kicking this afternoon sends it left again to Mason Caton Brown bit of space in front of him burst through 15 metres gain quick play the ball oh and then that's a disappointing error but they've got a penalty King Simbin tap penalty taken fellas hey can I see it Jack Ash with the right back row. Cam Smith, push out one, please. Danny Reach defends it too. All right? Mate, come on, we've got to be better here. Danny Reach hit two, Cam Smith to three, Jack Ash with to four. He's on the job. Quickly! Quickly! <laughs> <laughs> it was me, boss. <laughs> Burn Hall, it's a loose pass. Mason Caitlin Brown seems to have fluffed his lines there. Six, come on. Let's get out of the back. Energy, it's managing what we do. It's energy. It's the ball's foot left. It's out amongst the back line. On to Lynham. Lynham for the finish. Lynham's got there. And that's open England's second half account. Good finish, a strong finish down the left hand side. Nice and f***ing simple again, two and through, Sam, play four kick. Yeah. All right, let's kick early, let's, oh, no. let's get back in that arm wrestle, boys, awesome. Oh, no. DT too tight as well, there. And, uh, oh. Sam, keep working on that quick play of the ball, mate. Every time you jump, you're killing them. All right, yeah. All right. Yeah. play four kick. Yeah, let's get a quick play of the ball. Keep into him, quick play of the ball on three, kick on four. All right. Ball left to Smith. Lovely kick from Smith. And Greenwood gets there. What a great kick that was. And Greenwood was very brave as he died for it. 
final seconds of this game England kicking over the top it's drifted over the top Lineham's after it chasing after it but Ben Jones Bishop wins the race and the ball is kicked dead we finish here with England Knight successful against Jamaica by 38 points to 6 Testing, testing. Chicka chicka! Chicka chicka! Yeah, it was um, great. Obviously, coming out, seeing that South Stand packed to all them fans, um, everybody coming out today is a massive thank you. But yeah, a really tough game. We knew it was going to be a really tough challenge against the English England Knights. And first half, um, the speed was a bit too quick for us. They, they were a bit too skillful for us in the first half, but we regrouped at half time and we had a real dig in the second half. We talked to Alan Change Room just to come out in the second half and just show them what we're about. Um, that first 25 minutes, we uh, were playing well, but I think we uh, did some errors that uh, cost us the game, cost us that second half, really. It's been awesome. Um, one thing that the Jamaica group's got is a, a real tight knit bunch, and um, that's what they told me about as I come into the group because the togetherness that you feel when you come onto the field with these boys is no other feeling like it. Testing. Ground control to Major Tom. Commencing countdown, engines on. Yeah, it was brilliant. Um, obviously, a, a great support. I think there were 7,000 people here. The, uh, lots of Jamaican fans. I think mean, that was the loudest cheer of the night when they went over for their try. And yeah, it's a great. It's always a great occasion. Obviously, we came into camp this week. Uh, the boys really branded it. There's great camaraderie within the camp, and uh, you know we put in a very good first half display. We're a bit disappointed, you know, with the first 15 minutes of that second half. But that happens. Obviously, a lot of Jamaican boys, good heritage, and they, they were very emotional and they came out and they, and they did themselves, their families, and their their nation very proud we kicked on again in the last 25 and obviously got a few more points on the board and all in all it was a very very good uh, day what well, we from what we dished up in the first half before we played some great football but then contrasting scenarios in the second half we had to show a lot of grit a lot of determination a lot of togetherness off the back of uh, giving some cheap ball away so it just shows how hard uh, this group of people have worked for each other uh, during the week and it's come out on the field today so really really pleased overall and especially the second half to be fair because Jamaica if I'm being honest threw a lot of us in that second half and we uh, we handled it quite well yeah I think the, the two Wigan lads they're, they're, they're mental them two they're just so so aggressive and angry they're very quiet lads off the field you get him on it and it's like there's a demon on their shoulder Ollie Partington I said uh, before the game I said are you going to hurt someone he goes and he just looks at me and he just went I will like this he's just they're like, they're like from Wigan they're like robotic they're just absolute machines I thought them two were brilliant Mickey, a big Mickey um, I thought he had a great game and everyone everyone you know came up and uh, gave the role and it was a very good result for us Ollie Partington uh, I'm sure he's got some people who love and hate him within the competition but uh, it's a simple game isn't it you uh, I said I think you've got it on DV, on video uh, in Papua New Guinea when it's, it's a simple game when you carry the ball you've got to intend to run over the bloke in front of you and if he wants to run the ball at you he's going to pay a price and I think that's a simple pro simple motto that Ollie Partington and Morgan Smith is having their uh, having their mentality this is ground control to Major Tom. Pass the message. <laughs> Pass it on. Yeah, it's always, you know, it's always nice scoring tries, but I thought that the, the, the set-up play, obviously I'm just catching the ball and doing a, an, an unnecessary theatrical dive in the corner, so I think the build-up play and the way we've trained and our execution, you know, it's, it's wet here, and uh, for us to get the ball to the end, obviously, Greg scored three tries on his side, I scored a couple. I thought, you know, credit to all, all the players who, and, and the skill level, I thought it was top-notch today. <laughs> Six. Round control to me. Are we in? No, I'm not even going to start recording now. I thought obviously Toby King got Simb in there but I thought it was pretty good as well but I think it all comes from what uh, your, your key people do your pivots your 9, 7, 6 and 1 I thought they were fairly influential in the game as well but off back of that the game as we all know if uh, if you're big fellas through the middle especially in that second half especially look at your young fellas there with uh, Rob Butler Morgan Smith it's Ollie Partington taking it to some really seasoned uh, professionals so it's really pleasing to see and the, I think the most simple message for us is the future's bright with some of these young players that we've got and uh, there's a few more as well that we've got to keep our eyes on yeah, it's been awesome you know getting around the lads and the week's just being classed you know from start to finish and to finish off with a win against Jamaica you know it's massive and you know it's easy to score tries when they're just passed out to you on the wing you've just got to put them down so I, I just 
just on there, there's three blokes and or four blokes, sorry, now we've uh, we brought Ollie Willison in who uh, he joined the squad a bit, unfortunately didn't play, didn't make, quite make the team, but it's I think the, the credit that we've got to do is give it to the players and to the clubs. We, we look at what we've delivered here today is all we've done all week is try and break, blur, bring a, blue, a, a group of blokes together. I'll get that out. But the, the understanding of the game and the execution of stuff and things like that, that's a reflection of what they do at the clubs day in, day out. So I think a lot of credit, especially for them young blokes who have come through from uh, the academy all the way through, that's a reflection of them and what they're doing at the club. So uh, let's let them, long may that continue. Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, as soon as I, I was a bit, you know, I didn't know what to expect when I first came into camp but you know it's the same with I think with most rugby league players once you get around it's just it's just you with the lads and you know it's awesome yeah I think we, we started really well and we stuck to the game plan and came out the blocks firing and then you know it, Jamaica stuck in there right till the end which we knew we were going to do but we just knew if we stuck to the game plan you know we'd get them in the end I think that's exactly what the England Knights is for is to bring them, them young lads through and you know it's my first time playing playing for England Knights and you know it's just the whole week's just been great yeah yeah, the atmosphere were awesome. I mean, you know, Jamaicans are all—they're all really passionate in the crowd. You know, and there's fair few English English people there as well. So you know, it was just a really good atmosphere throughout the whole day. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not sure when I'm back in for pre-season, but you know, I'll have a few beers tonight and then go on holiday and then and then rip into pre-season, I guess. Well, that's the end of another show. I hope you've enjoyed that fly on the wall insight there. I know it was really exciting and a huge privilege 
for me. Big thanks to Paul Anderson and everybody in the England Night setup who allowed me to come in and document some of that content. I very much hope in my own heart of hearts that I see many of those boys go on and play full international rugby league like they deserve now. Last week, the Bachelors Try of the Week competition wasn't available because there's no community game rugby league being played at this time. But we did throw it back to you and ask you to come up with some challenges in your own garden, in your own environment, with your father, with your mother, with your siblings, with your family, in your own locality. And we were privileged to get tagged into some real bits of ingenuity, some social media genius. High knees, high knees, high knees. That's it, Logs. None more so, though, in my opinion, my humble opinion, than this from Logan Dransfield, a young cast superstar by the looks of it, who I think was coached by his dad, but can certainly step off both feet. Very industrious, very hard working, but got all the skill as well. Not least the ability to kick goals with his left foot. Now, all the very best, mate. You've got a bachelor's rugby AM ball coming to you in the post. Thank you very much again for joining us. We really appreciate your support. Hope to see you next week for the next one. Stay safe and God bless. We are working with the Rugby League All-Stars to help support and raise awareness for some of the heroes who play our game. To be a part of it, visit rugbyam.co.uk forward slash all-star events.